Hey lovely ladies and thank you for watching. So today I want to have a chat about the most important makeup tool that we use in our everyday makeup routine and that of course is our foundation brush, sponge, fingers. So I wanted to do a little bit of an experiment to see how effective each of these tools are. So I will be tasting your classic foundation flat brush. The next brush is this powder and foundation duo brush and a foundation brush that has a little bit of a point to it and of course my beauty sponge. So let us see which of these are going to be the best. I have no idea myself. So I'm going to just put some foundation on the glass and I'm Put a good amount on there. And so I'm going to start with the classic brush and let's see how this one performs. I'm just going to start in the middle and blend my way around. And see how far I can get this. So this I think is going to show us the coverage, how it performs on the skin itself, the pattern that it's going to be leaving. Okay, so that is how the classic foundation brush performed. Next I'll be using the powder and foundation duo I'm go on this one and this one you use in circular motions this is definitely my least favorite and you can see this one is an absolute mess it is so streaky <laughs> oh no Okay, so this one, definitely not my favorite. So I'm gonna try the last of my brushes, which is this one. This is, I like this brush. It is one of my favorite brushes. Because of the points, I can get really close to my eye when I am buffing it in. Definitely a lot streaky, actually. and not as full coverage. It has a lot less smaller spots than the original. It has, but still a bit patchy. <laughs> okay, and the next would be the beauty sponge. This is obviously damp. Oh wow can see why this is one of my favorite it's definitely more full coverage and it's not leaving any spaces when it blends out the color and the edges are so soft and blurred wow that is awesome and then next I'm gonna try using my fingers I know that a lot of ladies love using their fingers and particularly, I don't think there's anything wrong with it because of the heat on your fingers, it can push in the foundation into your skin. Um, but let's see how it compares to the other beauty tools. So I'm just going to go with two fingers and I see. And it definitely has a thicker consist, like the coverage is definitely a lot thicker because there is nothing being absorbed in the tool itself it's just laying on top of your fingers it definitely spreads the foundation further so you can get away with a lot less and I'm trying to get them as even as possible so also leaving a little bit of um, space in between the streaks just like the brushes do 
and the sponge leaves absolutely no spaces. Um, this has really been such an eye-opener. I definitely know that I do not like this brush. I never really did. And it's not very an effective tool at all. Your old school brush, I generally just keep it now for um, masks or putting on my primer. I don't like it for foundation and I can see that it's not as effective. It does have quite full coverage um, because the product isn't getting absorbed into the bristles too much. So it is going to leave a lot more foundation on your face itself, but it's not really getting in the pores. This brush over here, it didn't perform as well as I thought it was going to be. This is one of my favorites because of the pointy, it could really get into your eye over there and into your nose. But for your full face, I can see how ineffective it is. So I would say the winner here is hands down a beauty blender. Hands down, it's just so smooth. Um, I'm very surprised. And your fingers, again, it is the most coverage because the foundation isn't absorbed into any bristles or into the sponge. And that's why you can get more coverage, but it does leave it quite patchy. And that is gonna be very streaky on your face. So it's not as effective. You can use your fingers but I wouldn't for my whole face. So I really hope that this helped you in deciding what's gonna work for you. And maybe this is going to also show you, maybe you've been using the wrong tool. If you've had any problems with your foundation streakiness or coverage wise, maybe you've been using the wrong tool. So, out of this experiment, I would definitely recommend a beauty sponge. There are so many out there. They are so inexpensive. You do not need to go buy a beauty blender. I know they are quite expensive, but you can go to Clix or Dischem and there are so many different brands and they work fantastic. So ladies, I really hope that this is gonna make your foundation more flawless than it is. So keep at it and thank you for tuning in. So remember to please subscribe and I will see you very soon.